Hey guys. My allergies are gonna be really bad in this video. I'm just throwing it out there right now. My allergies have been terrible lately. Um, but welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do the monthly favorites. Favorites? Favorites. Last month, what was it, October? October. So I have some things that I wanna talk about because I didn't do a September favorite. So I kinda of have a layover from last month and this month. Some things you guys have already heard me talk about, some things um, you've never seen me talk about. I have a mixture, as usual, of food. I have a candle, books, skincare, beauty, uh, body care, all that stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this sweater that I am wearing. This is from my store, Brendalyn and Cora. It's just like a really cute, comfy, oversized green sweater along with these two necklaces right here. I just love the way this whole style looks. They're really oversized. I like that this is like super long on my hands. Um, I, I just love this whole little set. This is our olive green uh, chunky knit sweater and I love it. It's kind of cropped but it looks really cute when it's tucked in especially to like a pair of high-waisted like Levi's or high-waisted jeans or whatever. So I really have just been loving this. It's so comfortable and I was actually, I'm, I was filming in a tank top a little while ago and I just got cold because the AC in here cranks like nobody's business. So I threw this on and I tucked it into my shorts and I just love the way that it looks and I love this sweater. I've worn it like three times this month. I've worn it to go run errands. I've run. I've worn it to grocery shop. I've worn it just around the house and I absolutely love it. Um, anything from my store, of course, as well as everything else, I will leave linked down below. But this is from Brendan and Cora along with the rose pendant necklace. It has a rose imprinted in it. It kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, like the Beauty and the Beast rose. My sister had mentioned that and I was like, oh my god, you're so right. And I just love the way that it looks, uh, what is it, layered. And we're all into layered, very dainty, minimal jewelry for my store. So I just love the way that this looks. I love all of this stuff. So I'm just going to move on to the next thing. First, I'm going to go into my beauty favorites because I do have a couple that I want to talk about. First thing I want to talk about is my favorite mascara of all time. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big. I was using this for a really long time. It's the only mascara that I've ever completely ran out of. Um, Ulta was having a sale, I feel like a 20% off, and I saw it and I was like, I might as well get it if it's 20% off. It is the only mascara that makes my lashes look, I mean, you can't really tell. I have really short lashes. I don't have long lashes at all, but this mascara just gives me so much thickness, so much volume. Kathleen Lights also, this is like one of her favorite mascaras, and Alana Rama, Alana Davison. Um, from Canada. This is also her favorite mascara. Her eyelashes are ridiculous. Like it's, it pisses me off because she has such good eyelashes. But this is just honestly the best mascara that I've personally ever used. Way better than Better Than Sex. I don't like Better Than Sex at all. Um, I like the wand on this. I used to be really into the rubbery ones, but now I'm more into the fiber ones. This formula is very wet and I really like that because it, it lets you like really layer it on. I did three layers. Again, you probably can't tell because I have like baby lashes. I did three layers of this mascara and I love it. It does come in waterproof, but I prefer to use just the regular one because I just, that's just what I prefer. So I really felt like I needed to shout this out because I haven't talked about this in a long time and it's my favorite mascara literally of all time. Next, I want to talk about three lip products. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is not going to surprise you guys at all because I've mentioned it like three times already this month. Um, it's called Hawkwind from Kat Von D. It is the perfect like fudgy brown chocolatey color. I'll swatch it right here. And I love this color on its own, but I love this color layered with nude lipsticks. I've used it with my London from NYX. I've used it with Quickie from ColourPop. And my favorite pair with it is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Fawn Over Me Liquid Lip Cream. If you guys have been following me for a while, back like a year, maybe two years ago, this was like my favorite nude of all time. It's just the perfect peachy nude. Um, and those are my favorites. I love peachy nudes. But this is what the both of them look like and layered. It is just the most beautiful lip combo ever. This is more of like a cream formula and this is obviously a super matte. So this kind of counteracts the matteness of this and makes it so that it's not super drying. Um, but this makes it last a little bit longer. This doesn't last as long as a liquid lipstick because it's not a liquid lipstick. It's more of like a lip cream. But yeah, I just love these two. This one has become like it's fallen back into my rotation and I also love it with the third favorite that I have, 
which is the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On, definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner in the color Urban Cafe. You guys know that these lip liners are my number one holy grail favorite lip liners of all time. To me, nothing that is this affordable lasts as long, glides on, stays as long, is as creamy, pigmented, all of that stuff. And this color, I just absolutely love. I feel like it's really hard to find a nice, chocolatey, brown lip liner. This is it right here. And this all over the lips with this in the middle is beautiful. I love this with all nudes, honestly. Like, it just looks so good with every single nude. And this is just so creamy. And you can see, like, it's so freaking pigmented. My candles are in focus. It's so pigmented that it's just... Oh, I love it and I love brown lips like brown lips brownie nude I'm just I'm a neutral lip kind of girl. I'll do anything on my eyes, but on my lips. I love nude So these are the three lip Colors that I want to talk about next I have two cheek products and one of them is an old-school thing that I used to use a long time ago And it's back into my rotation. It's kind of the only blush that I've been wearing and it's the Sephora collection a uh, colorful blush in the shade hot flush number 13. This is a throwback. If you've been watching me for a while, this is a throwback. Back when I had started at Sephora like two years ago, there was a makeup artist. I think she was a senior artist, which is like high up there. And she was wearing the most beautiful orange blush. I was like, what, what is that on your face? Like, and she was so fair. She looked like Snow White, like super porcelain skin and had the most beautiful orange cheeks. And she was like, oh, I'm wearing hot flush from Sephora collection. As soon as she said that, I bought it. And it's the blush that I'm wearing right now. It is extremely, extremely pigmented. Like if I layer on a little bit more, like I literally just dab into it a little bit because it's very, see, you can see. It's very, very, very pigmented, but I love orange blush. Like I think it is the prettiest thing ever. And this has a nice gold uh, reflecty sheen to it. It's extremely pigmented. The Sephora collection blushes are so slept on. A lot of Sephora collection in general is very slept on and I have a video that I did a full face of just Sephora collection and Sephora collection is just super slept on. People forget that it even exists. Nobody ever talks about it and this is just one of the oh, this is one of the best blushes ever and I have not put it down for the last like three to four weeks. I freaking love it. The last cheek product that I want to talk about is the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter in the shade Be My Sunlight. This is so freaking nice. Like, it's so beautiful. It looks like a brown right here. Like, it kind of reminds me in the pan of Opal from uh, Becca. But it just has, I can't even explain the type of sheen that it has. It is so, like, natural. It's hard to get the light to hit it. But it has the most beautiful glow to your cheeks. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit on right now. I'm using a fan brush. Um, and it just leaves the most natural sheen on your cheeks. I'm very into skin looking highlighters right now. Like I don't want anything to look too chunky. I don't want anything to look too glittery. I just want it to look like my cheeks are naturally glowing. And I've been using this non freaking stop. I love it so much. I first heard Kathleen Lights talk about it and then I heard Alana Davison, which they're like two of my favorite YouTubers. You guys know Kathleen Lights is pretty much my friend. She just doesn't know it. But I love this and I think it was two or three dollars. It's so good and the formula is so soft. It doesn't look powdery at all. It's from Essence. I feel like there's two shades and I want to get both of them for my kid for girls that don't want to look too glowy, like don't want that intense glow. But want a glow to the face. This is such a good product. Like, it's so good. <laughs> and the last makeup product that I wanted to talk about is something that I did not want to love. I'm being super honest, I did not want to love this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the shade Natural Beige. I didn't want to like this because... I was in this phase that I was like, you know what, I don't need any more makeup. I really don't need to buy anything. I love the concealers that I have. Shape Tape is my favorite. There's no point in trying anything else because Shape Tape is my favorite. Like, why do I need to try more things when I know that Shape Tape works for me, it lasts for me, it goes a really long time on my skin, it lasts me forever. Like, one bottle of Shape Tape will last me like a year. And I was like, I don't need to try it. I don't need to try it. I don't need to try it. And then I tried it. And I have not used my Shape Tape since I've tried it. It's been about a month now and I have been using it every single day. What I like about it the most is that it's not as matte as Shape Tape, so it blends a lot easier. I have been using it on clients with the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Foundation. I literally have used it on every single client. It is so good. I love it so much. The shade 
is equivalent to medium from Shade Tape, which is my exact, like my perfect concealer shade. It's a concealer that I'm wearing right now. This concealer deserves all the hype that it's getting because it really is that good. Now we're gonna talk about some skincare and I have two products to talk about and these are two completely new skincare products to me. They are both from Kiehl's and one of them is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This cream is so thick and when I'm going to sleep, I like my face to look greasy. Like, I have extremely dry skin and I like for my face to look wet when I go to sleep because I really like that hydration to sink in. And this is such a thick moisturizer, you can't see it at all in there. But it is so, it feels like a body butter, but it's for your face. It leaves my face so hydrated and it doesn't evaporate into my skin, which is what I prefer at night. During the day, I do like something a lot lighter, and for that, I use my Ula Henriksen C Rush uh, Gel Cream because it lays really nice underneath foundations. But at night, I love the thick, goopy face creams. Like, I really do. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is like a greeny yellow eye cream, and again, this is thick. And underneath the eyes, you really want to make sure that you hydrate because of translucent powders and concealers. All of that starts to look really cakey and thick if you don't hydrate underneath your eyes. So I've been freaking loving this. I've been using it every day. A little bit goes a very long way. Um, I've been using this every single day, both of these, for about a month, and you can barely tell that I've even started using Excuse me. That I've even started using it. They have this, this, and a Midnight Recovery Serum treatment at Sephora for I think like $48 or $49, which is amazing because these are full size products. And I've been using the Midnight Recovery treatment as well, but I don't really see like skincare products work right away, especially treatments like that. So I've been using that. I'll see how I like it and then I'll talk about it if I do end up liking it. But this, this, and the Midnight Recovery serum are all in a set for the holidays um and i will leave the link down below this isn't sponsored or anything so yeah i wanted to talk about these two skincare products really quick then i wanted to talk about the lotion that i've been using and if you watch my haul then this won't be a surprise to you it's the soap and glory call of fruity fruity and exotic the way she smooths softening body lotion this smells so freaking good i like it mainly because of the smell because the smell really lingers for a long time. It smells clean, it smells fresh, it smells fruity. It is just so nice and it's really nice and hydrating. Not as thick as like a body butter, but it just feels so good on the hands and on the skin. I put it all over my body before I go to sleep. I use it in the day. I just, I've really been into this. You can't really tell how much I've used because it's a pretty big bottle, but I, I love this stuff. Now we're gonna talk about a candle favorite. And this candle favorite is the Haven Street Lavender Suede Hand Poured Wooden Wick Candle. This candle smells to me like fall in a jar. It smells so good. You guys know I'm not a fan of spicy or cinnamony or cupcakey smells. I like more fresh, clean scents, and this smells kind of like wood being smoked with like lavender. I can't describe it because it's, it, it just smells so good. I'm not sure where you can find these because I got this at Ross, uh, but if I can find it like on Amazon or something or if I can find their website, I'll leave it down below. It just smells so good and my favorite part about it is that it has a wick, like a wood wick. So at night, it like or when you light it, it flickers and crackles as it burns and I think that that's just such a soothing sound and the way that it like flickers in the light, it's just, I love this candle so much. I need to try to find it again. Um, because it's so hard for me to find but if I can find it like on Amazon or if I can find their website I will leave it down below because this just smells Like a dream. It smells so good. Next we're going to talk about food and I surprisingly don't have much to talk about because I haven't tried anything new really I've just been kind of repurchasing one thing I want to talk about are Flamin' Hot Punions I love spicy you guys know that and Flamin' Hot Cheetos are one of my favorite chips and then they fuse them with Flamin' Hot Punions and it's just genius. I love them. I was eating them earlier. Like, I'm almost out of this bag. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried these, but if you have not, they are delicious. And then the food food product that I wanted to talk about are the Trader Joe's Lemon Pepper Pepperdell Pasta. Uh, my sister put me onto these. Again, my sister's a food blogger. I'll leave her Instagram down below. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she's always cooking, showing hauls, uh, going out to eat. I actually went with her to a restaurant that she got invited to here in Winter Park to try their new food menu. Um, but my sister, anything she recommends, I usually like. Me and her have very similar tastes. 
So I got these and they are so good. They taste like lemon pepper already. And just with like olive oil and garlic with chicken or shrimp or whatever, it is so good. These are from Trader Joe's. You guys know Trader Joe's is my jam. It's where I buy all of my groceries. And I just love these. They're the fat noodles. And they're just so good. I love lemony pasta. Like, oh, love lemony pasta. And this is just freaking delicious. If you guys go to Trader Joe's and you guys like my recommendations, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Lastly, I want to talk about this book, The Untethered Soul. And if you've watched the last few videos that I've posted, you know that I do talk about it a lot. And this book has honestly changed the way that I think. It's changed the way that I view life. It's changed the way that I think about my mind. It changes, it changed the way that I, I feel like it really has changed me in general. It's a very difficult book to read, which I've mentioned before. And the artist or the author is Michael A. Singer, who is a freaking genius. I wish I could meet this man. Uh, but this book really gets you to tap into your mind and alter your thoughts and separate your thoughts from who you really are. And it's just so good. I have like two, this is all I have left. I have like two chapters left and I'm so sad that I'm going to finish it. I'll probably read it again because I loved it so much and I feel like it's changed so much of how I live my life and I just I cannot recommend this book enough. I will leave it down in the description bar for like Amazon or something but I'm sure you could get this at Barnes and Noble. This book is just so good and it has honestly changed my life and anyone else that has read this has said the same thing. It's just I love this book so much. Yeah. That is everything that I want to talk about in this monthly favorites. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Subscribe if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.